Hello, beautifuls. It is wonderful to be seen by your light today and to be in your presence. I'm really excited to just sit down and chat with you guys about past lives, journeying into the subconscious, and really just soul healing, okay? This ancestral healing of our soul is so powerful and I'm super excited because I have also been trained as a past life regression practitioner. So so I'm super excited to be holding space for these journeys back into past lives and these healings energetically um, within our souls to really just gain so much clarity and so much insight on our lives here and now. Um, it's been really a beautiful experience to witness, to be a part of, and also to experience in my own life. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my own experiences, how I kind of got into it real quick, and also just how past lives can really affect us and why is it that we want to learn more about past lives or why we feel called to past lives or regression or you know we have all of these ideas of like what we could be all of these ideas of what you know and how the universe may be working with our souls here as far as lives and reincarnation you know reincarnation is really an ancient um idea and it's really sprinkled within so so many <laughs> different religions and the way that it's really connected to science and this is the way that I see it is in energy all right if you think about it there's a couple different ways to think about it but if you really get down to the laws of thermodynamics where energy cannot be created or destroyed if you think about consciousness as energy if you think about your soul as energy any aspect of your being being energy you know we are really just recycling <laughs> okay this is that reincarnation we really go back into the subconscious and see that and realize that the subconscious really is always listening always always listening always taking in information really can be running the show a lot of the time so deeply connected with all realms all aspects of ourselves the physical the mental the emotional the energetic the spiritual right really connected with all of that we can actually see that this consciousness that we have can be carried over you know ancestrally throughout our bloodline it can be really carried over past lives um over you know lives and lives and lives that we've lived whether it be here on earth or maybe on other in other star systems so just throwing that out there you know take what resonates leave what doesn't i have some notes here so if you see me looking down at all or bringing this up because i need glasses to see um don't mind me if you are new to the channel thank you so much for being here my name is aria please do subscribe if you are already and tap the like button if you are ready to just really tune in and dive in to this conversation and know that it is a conversation i'd love to know your thoughts and your beliefs it's really fascinating you know like I don't actually know <laughs> anything I feel like none of us really really do here within this human body and with this conscious mind there's so much that we can remember um, but it's not even just the remembering that's important it's really just this this knowing that we don't know this knowing that there is just something so much bigger out there you know and um, with these ideas of reincarnation and past lives and all of that it really comes down to experience so just letting you guys know I am speaking from experience, all right? And experiences that, you know, my clients, my soul family has experienced as I've held space for them. So I'll talk a little bit about like regression and how that kind of works and how I see it. And yeah. So the reason why I'm really bringing this up now, I actually received my certification back in April of 2021. So <laughs> the reason I'm bringing this up now is because of this Mercury retrograde. During this time, we really see so much of the subconscious just really bringing things up. We start to see it really clearly reflected into our lives when we allow ourselves to be aware. And I know that everyone here watching this, um, you're aware, <laughs> you're aware of some of these patterns within our lives and these patterns that we have within our lives that feel really deep and ingrained or they feel like blocks within our lives they feel like something that like no matter how hard we work towards something no matter what we see this pattern and this belief just really roam so freely within our lives and that's because it's been stored within the subconscious mind and that 
also means that it may, may, may be stored within your body as well, within your nervous system. It's a memory that is being held within your body. Your body remembers, your subconscious remembers, um, so many different experiences within our lives. And sometimes depending on the past life, depending on the person, the soul, whatever, what have you, it may be carried over from past lives or carried over from parents, grandparents, you know, your bloodline and your ancestors as well. So that's why things can be really deeply ingrained. And the healing of these, these patterns that we have, these phobias, these fears that maybe we can't explain or we can just feel it deeply within our body. Maybe we didn't actually have an experience of a fear within this lifetime, but we have it so clearly and it's so apparent currently within our lives that it may be tied to past life where you had something happen in that way that simply just wasn't dealt with. It's so much of just bringing things to the surface, seeing it, acknowledging it, and letting it go, and really just letting it dissolve. And you know what, with that witnessing, with that ability to bring things into the light, it really has permission to go back to source. So this is really, a lot of it can be healing just for the soul to be able to do that. And we do that every day on our spiritual journey right we have things come up we allow ourselves to acknowledge it and sometimes it takes some inspired action you know some intentional action to begin healing and moving towards the shifting of this energy and other times it really just takes us acknowledging and just saying all right like I see it I understand I'm gonna let it go I'm gonna let it dissolve and that's how easy that energy can really be released in so many different ways so during this time the subconscious is showing us it's always showing us but it's very apparent now and that's why so many people during mercury retrograde at any time say to just go within and to really just tune into this space this space of the heart and not so much getting up in the head because we can really bring ourselves back to states that you know necessarily we don't want to be in so that's why it's important for us to just become more of that observer and more aware and when we're really digging into or just bringing up past lives in any way shape or form it's so important that we remember that we are the observer of these lives. We may be feeling sensations within our body. Um, I had one experience where I was just laying down. I don't exactly remember why I felt it was so important during this time to just like lay down and go into meditation, but I did. So I laid down in my bed, <laughs> I'm just imagining it right now, and I just really set the intention to just heal something to know something like I was like show me like show me what's going on here tell me what's going on here what is this experience what am I feeling in my heart show me show me show me I was really just surrendering to that experience and allowing my intuition my guides to assist me and my subconscious to just bring up a memory and it was something that I was feeling as well it was emotional it wasn't just me like playing a movie in my head like a dream and I wasn't necessarily in that state State, that theta state where we are in this more dreamlike state where it's easier for us to really access the subconscious. This was an experience where I really felt like it was just coming up in my my intuition and my third eye was just like, here you go, what's up? Um, this is the experience that we're experiencing right now to really begin being healed. And in that life, I was a witch and um, I, had a, I had a son and they were taking him away from me and it was really traumatic experience for me so that whole experience that I was I was really just observing being a witness of was so healing to my heart and to my womb just that moment of just really holding the space and being able to witness it and heal it and let things go in that moment and just kind of almost like close the door on that be like all right so we don't need to hold on to this I know <laughs> that's why it's coming up it's coming up for a reason you know these experiences and these visions that we may have so that was like my first 
first experience with kind of doing it on my own without intentionally saying I'm going back into a past life I want to know who I was because that's not what it's about when we're doing this soul healing it's not necessarily about us just being like oh yeah I was like Cleopatra in my past life and I was like doing this and it's like okay that's great whatever honestly when it comes down to like it's really just the imprints that it made like that life or what ex whatever experience is made in your soul um, that may be connected with this current lifetime so I don't necessarily believe there is any reason that you need to be you know bringing up memories of your past lives all the time like I feel like that's not natural and that's not normal and that's not something that we should really strive to do it's really this deep trusting in yourself and in your journey and in your intuition and in your reflections within your own reality that's really going to bring up exactly what it is that you need so just like any kind of modality um, at all when you're working with past life healing ancestral healing anything like that when you're looking at going towards something maybe towards an, a regression or an akashic records reading or what have you these type of healing modalities you want to feel called to it all right the biggest the biggest most powerful aspect of these modalities is your intent and your drive to go towards this healing and this expanding whatever is calling you to it it's calling you and this is meant to be on your path so if you're here watching this video and you're really curious about past life maybe there is a life that wants to come up and this is an opportunity for you to say yes like I'm open I'm open to begin healing this and a lot of the time when we go back into past lives whether we do it intentionally or not um, these experiences that come up really it's about not necessarily just seeing and you know witnessing the experience it's really just allowing yourself to feel it as well for some people with past life regression it can be like a really emotional experience um personally i have been holding space for more observational experiences and some of the time there will be some emotions that come up but it won't be like overwhelming like you're re-experiencing and re-traumatizing yourself i don't think that's necessarily healthy um but a lot of the time that can be helpful for certain people to really just gain the insight and the healing needed for the soul during that time these spaces that i've been holding it's all about just really relaxing <laughs> relaxing into this theta state where your subconscious will share with you what needs to be shared with you and sometimes you don't necessarily even need to experience the whole regression the whole journey that I take you through sometimes your subconscious kind of just does what it needs to do it's really just allowing your higher self as well your intuition your soul to do the work and the healing that needs to come up so this isn't just like oh yeah I remember doing this I remember doing that like it's not about that <laughs> and I feel like that's important to mention when it comes to working with past lives it can be really interesting you know this the specific thoughts and expectations that we can have on you know doing a regression or doing any kind of meditation or anything at all with past lives it's important to know why you're there you know it's important to know that you feel called to this and you're not just doing it for fun all right so that's that's really what it comes down to and you feel called to doing any kind of this healing it's really um a therapeutic experience to be able to go back into past lives so if you feel in any way that it is like too intense for you at all and you're like doing this work at all I don't know what people are doing out there with past lives but just know that <laughs> it's meant to be really therapeutic to do that just as any type of meditation or just sitting in silence and you just kind of allow things to come up within your own life just like inner child healing past lives is kind of like the same thing so we don't treat it differently Differently, I, I would say, you know, it's, it's, it's a safe thing. <laughs> it's a safe thing, but it's important that if you're going to do a regression and if you're going to really want to tune into something specific or you feel really, really called to it, it's important to do it in a safe setting with someone that you trust. So that doesn't necessarily mean going to do a past life regression just on YouTube and stuff like that. It's going to be very different if you just do a meditation on 
YouTube rather than if you just actually book a session with someone that you trust. So that's something to think about as well because a lot of the times it's like it's important to have someone to be able to guide you through it um, and it's not something that you need to do all the time. It's really really magical because if you feel called to it like everything, you're all aspects of yourself are just going to come into alignment for that session or for that moment for you to really just release something, to bring something in, to reclaim an aspect of yourself, to begin gaining insight and clarity on any specific patterns within your lives. So I just want to share with you guys how past lives can really affect us within this lifetime here and now the first one obviously being patterns and blocks that it may be really difficult to break and this could be something that's truly linked to your childhood wounds and you know working and healing with your inner child can be really powerful and sometimes it goes beyond that into your past lives the next thing could be health issues big or small whatever it may be if you feel like it's unexplainable you go to doctors here and there and nothing can be explained it may be a past life thing that you've been holding on to. I know personally for me, my first experience, which like really made me begin to believe more into past lives was when I went to a holistic doctor and I was complaining about like a lot of pain in my ovary, like during my menstruation and just in random times during the day, it was very uncomfortable. And he actually muscle tested me and revealed that I had a past life where I was actually wounded here and I died as a really little baby girl in a car crash. So, and that was something that I held on to. Like there was no way that my soul was like, oh, it's fine, like I was so young. So that was something that I was able to heal completely through a little bit of a regression and a little bit of just me being my own angel in that way. So it could be little things like that. They're just unexplainable um, health issues. The next one is fears and phobias. Phobias are just like unexplainable fears like why do I have these fears within our lives um, and then just some really deeply rooted ones sometimes uh, painful relationships and certain patterns within relationships with very specific people can be really linked to past lives it could have been someone that you know you have experience with in another life and you know it's not super important for us to be like oh yeah you were my kid in a past life like no it doesn't matter the point is healing your soul is allowing something to be released so that you can fully reclaim and be yourself without these blockages. So that's one thing that can be really helpful is just experiencing something to give you more insight and clarity on these specific relationships within your lives. Like I said, those literally general like little things about like, oh, that's my mom, that's my child, this was this person, this was me, this is my name, this is where I lived, doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> I mean, of course, like it's, it, it can be helpful maybe um, for some people, like especially locations and stuff like that can be really drawing and we can feel really called to them. But at the end of the day, it's really about the healing of your soul and bringing that clarity back into place for you. Dreams and fascinations can be linked to our past lives as well. There could probably be so many other ones, like you can let me know in the comments, but those are the ones that I have really observed and have seen and it can really really be powerful when we allow ourselves to come to this place to remember these solutions and this clarity and just this insight and I feel like when we work with past lives when we're healing these past lives it's important that we come to it from a pure place you know if we come into it with all these expectations of being like I want to go back to this one time when I was doing this and this and this and this and this we have to remember that our mind is involved here <laughs> okay, our ego is still involved here, all right? And something that a lot of people ask <laughs> all the time is within pa any past life regression or if they really just experience those visions of past lives because past lives is just like such a, you know, reincarnation is such like an idea, you know, there's nothing that really proves it. And that comes back to the unknown that we are meant to live within, right? So, so many questions about like, am I making this up? <laughs> And it's what I always tell people is that, you know what, your intuition, what is true for you is going to come up. All right. It's just going to come up like that. 
it's gonna come up like that, especially when you're in these theta states where your subconscious can just easily begin revealing and assisting you and you're, you're really connected with your soul in that more dreamlike state where you are fully aware and conscious yet still <laughs> experiencing these like experiences and observing these, these experiences um, to really gain exactly what it is that you need during that time. You know what, your ego is gonna be that second, that question, right? That mind is gonna be that, oh, what about if we did this? What about this? It's gonna be like everything after that. So it's really this surrender, all right? It's really the surrender. Like I said, with my first experience, I surrendered. <laughs> I was like, I'm open, I'm here. I'm, I'm just ready to experience. Like I'm gonna drop into this meditation and see what is going to arise for me. And that's what's so powerful about meditation, especially when you are just opening yourself up to this spiritual growth. Remember, tune into what it is your intuition feels like. What does it feel like? Is it is it quick? Is it a whisper? Is it loud? All right, and just being tuning into like how your your ego and your mind like to just kind of fill in. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of the time we're like, okay, is this real or is this not real? Trust your intuition. Trust that and surrender to that. All right, surrender to that. So a few other things that I really wrote down that I thought was really important for anyone that is really tuning into this past life healing or just journeying in, into the subconscious or doing any type of like ancestral or inner child healing is the fact that it really requires love and compassion and your attention. A lot of the time we go back into this inner child, right? Normally he, she, they, they need love and attention and compassion in that way. We go back into past lives a lot of the time we need love and compassion, right? These experiences that we've had this healing that we are doing within our, our bloodline for our ancestors, it requires us to be loving and compassionate to ourselves and to others that are around us. This really, really is so important and such a key because this awareness and this acknowledgement truly creates this, this choice for us on how we are going to react. What are we gonna to give to this energy? We're gonna give it love and compassion to allow it to dissolve and come back into source, come back into oneness with our soul. And you don't necessarily need to have some grand experience for it to be past life healing. It's very energetic. I wanna keep that in mind. This isn't about bringing up memories and just, you know, being in this place where you're just remembering all these things. Like that's not what it's about. It's about the energetic healing for your soul all right it's about bringing forth the lessons right and the clarity and the insights that are needed for you during this time of your life okay and that's what's so beautiful about doing these sessions with people is that they come as they are <laughs> here with like so many questions and just wanting to like release any expectations and they're like okay this state like what is happening i'm like literally you're gonna be laying down and meditating <laughs> <laughs> that's really what's happening here and really what is going to arise for them is exactly what is meant for them and this has always been my experience okay this isn't necessarily someone saying all right go here go here go there go there like no this is your soul bringing up exactly what is meant for you in the now moment exactly what is meant for you in the now moment fully protected and held by mother earth your angels your soul family your guides light being source all of that right fully and completely just bringing forth exactly what it is that you do need and a lot of the time it's like you didn't even realize you needed it <laughs> and days will pass and you'll see that there's just like this opening, this subtle shift um, within your life that is really powerful. So yeah, I just want to make that note that it's not about the mess, like the memories necessarily. It's about the message. It's about the message. It's so much like really interpreting your dreams and bringing forth what is the message here? Like if I dreamed about this, what does that mean for me? What is this coming up? What am I feeling within my being, within my body? So yeah, if you are interested in journey into past lives just keep these little points in mind take what resonates like i said leave what doesn't you don't necessarily need to fully believe in reincarnation for this to be 
accessible for you, you know? Like I was not super, you know, completely believe in it. And now that I'm really doing this work and I've done this work myself for myself and from multiple different people, I'm seeing that there really is these this link between lives. Like our soul has had other experiences. The energy that we carry today has had other experiences and it's not just here on earth. It's on like so many different places, especially if you resonate as a star seed as well but it's remembering also not to really you know keep that tunnel vision of being like i want to go back to Sirius and like go back to this lifetime and like heal this experience that i think i had like no bruh it's about healing what is here and now this is about presence this is about deep deep presence and with these past life regressions that i am holding space for it's really a state of deep presence right you are fully aware um fully conscious of the experience i am simply guiding your subconscious through the process and you just surrender and allow and receive and afterwards we really just take some time to journal and integrate and see what was arising and answer any questions that you may have so within these experiences it's so beautiful and important for you to be called to it it's so important that you feel called to this work it's not something that you need to be doing all the time like i said it's presence <laughs> it's deep deep presence so the more that you can be present the more that you'll see okay it's time for me, like I'm curious. I'm curious, I wanna see what is here for me. What is this modality calling me? What is this this point of healing calling me? What is my subconscious showing me within this time? Maybe if you're watching this during the Mercury retrograde, what is arising for you? Be so present that you can fully be aware and open to what is coming up for you. So with all of that being said, I just want to share with you guys also that I offer group past life regressions. If you're watching this in time, I have October the 15th of 2021. I am doing a group past life regression. This was perfect when I started doing regression um, outside of like whatever I was doing for myself and what I experienced with like different doctors and stuff like that. This was such a great experience because I wasn't alone in it and <laughs> other people would ask questions. It's just an, such an honor to to be able to do this with multiple souls but also do this privately um, where we can really tune into the more therapeutic aspects of it so it's a really relaxing and beautiful spiritual experience and such a relaxing way of healing I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's so nice to be able to have a guide within that so if you're interested in doing a private session or a group session um, with some beautiful beings then make sure you go in the description box below I have my website and everything linked there and it answers a lot of questions as well I just want to mention one more thing before you go this is not a regression where you're speaking to me <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that this is an experience that you have for yourself okay like like, I'm not asking you to share things with me and within those group sessions that is not what happens at all I really just want to allow you to have the experience and I think it's so much more powerful when we don't over analyze just so that we can like get words through our mouth like I feel like that's kind of counterintuitive when we're in that theta state like I don't need to know what the heck is going on right this is for you <laughs> we're really just bringing that through and that's why the um the private sessions are nice because at least we can talk about it and we can really stay in contact for a few days after but so much of the time it's like just clarity it's just so much insight so much clarity so much healing for the soul that occurs during that time and yeah i just wanted to note that it's like it's not just <laughs> us chatting about a past life like that is not the experience at all <laughs> it's very much a meditative experience but i just want to thank you guys so much for being here during this time for listening to my thoughts and my experiences and my findings as i have really stepped into this work it was not something that i fully intended to do it was something that was literally calling me and i had no idea when i you know pressed and roll and like i put down the down payment for this training and this journey really that this was something that I was meant to do that I was meant to hold space for this and meant to really just shift this view of past life healing so I'm just really honored to be doing this in this way and to be sitting here and chatting with you guys about past lives if you have any further questions please leave them in the comments down below I would love to answer them please do like and subscribe if you aren't already my voice is like all right we're done 
and stop talking all right sending you guys so much love i will see you in another video mm -hmm.